Hey guys, so today we are going to discuss the differences between forward and inverse kinematics. <clears throat> so first of all, we will see what is robot kinematics in general. In robot kinematics, it is the study of the relationship between the robot's joint coordinates and its spatial layout. That is, in other words, we can say that kinematics is only concerned with the instantaneous values of the robot's coordinates and ignores their movements under forces and torques. That is, in kinematics, we will always be worried about only the coordinates of the robot and its orientation that where the robot is at present or its instantaneous position whereas the forces such as uh, torques and uh, torques forces and velocities will not be considered whenever we are talking about robot kinematics for that we have another domain known as robot arm dynamics arm dynamics is concerned with velocity force or torque here in kinematics we will not be concerned about these forces we will only be concerned about the coordinates and the orientation of the robots now let us discuss the forward kinematics or the direct kinematics suppose we have a robot whose configuration is given this means that the link length and the joint angles are given to us then we have to calculate the position and the orientation of the robot arm this is known as forward kinematics that is in this theta 1 that is the joint angles theta 1 and theta 2 are given to us and link lengths that is l1 and l2 are also given to us what we have to find out is we have to find out the x and y coordinates of the robot arm this is to be found out that is we can say that in forward kinematics we have to find out the instantaneous position the instantaneous position of the robot at any particular time now secondly we have inverse kinematics which is completely opposite of forward kinematics now here we want to place the manipulator at a desired location and the orientation for that we need to know the link length and the joint angles of the robot that is in other words we can say that instead of finding out the instantaneous position of a robot manipulator arm we want to now we want to place an object from one position to another position that is from point A to point B. We want to place an object from point A to point B using the robot arm manipulator. So we using inverse kinematics we can do this. That is we can move an object from one position to another position. So here we have to find out theta 1 and theta 2 have to be find out, found out. That is we have to find these. Whereas L1 and L2 that is the link lengths and X and Y coordinates x and y coordinates are already given to us we have to find out theta 1 and theta 2 so this is the difference between forward kinematics and uh, inverse kinematics i'll repeat here we find out the instantaneous position here we find out the uh, here we will find out how we will place an object from one position to another in real life inverse kinematics is more useful to us as compared to forward kinematics as inverse kinematics has much more practical applications now we will be discussing that how we will find out uh, the coordinates when we have a robot manipulator and theta 1 and theta 2 angles are given that is now we will look at forward kinematics first suppose we have this coordinate frame and in this we are given two links that is link 1 that is with length 1 and link 2 with length length L2 so now this is given to us as that is theta 1 and this angle is also given to us that is it is theta 2 and this angle this full angle is called as phi now what we have to find out is is this coordinate that is x and y if we will extend this point we will see that this part is the x coordinate part and this part over here is the y coordinate part let me change the color so now what we have to do this do we have to find out x and y coordinates such that theta 1 and theta 2 l1 and l2 are given to us so we will apply normal uh, trigonometry Suppose we have to find out the length of x 
so x can be written as this part that is this which can be written as l1 cos theta1 plus this part which can also which can be written as l2 cos phi plus l2 cos phi and we know that from this from this part we can see that phi is equal to theta1 plus theta2 so we can write l1 cos theta1 plus l2 cos theta1 plus theta2 this is the value of the x coordinate as we know the values of theta1 and theta2 which will be given to us and l1 and l2 are also known so from there we can find out the value of x now we will find out the value of y that is this part so the value of y will be the this length plus this length so we can write y is equal to l1 sin theta1 plus l2 l2 sin theta1 theta2 phi sorry l2 sin phi i'll write it again that is it is l1 sin theta1 which is this length this length over here and l2 plus l2 sin phi which is this length over here so sum of these two will give us the y coordinate which will come out to be l1 sin theta1 plus l2 sin theta1 plus theta2 so now we have found out the y coordinate and the x coordinate as well that is the forward kinematics part has been done that is we were able to find out the instantaneous instantaneous coordinates of the robot arm at a particular time so now we will look at inverse kinematics that is the inverse kinematics part now let us again consider a reference frame or the coordinate frame and say we have a link with length l1 we have another link with length l2 this is the x and the y coordinate so here we are doing inverse kinematics so x and y l1 and l2 are given we have to find theta1 and theta2 so now let us first assign the values that we have to find that is we have to find theta1 we will extend this we have to find theta2 and this is phi phi will also be given to us that is phi is equal to theta1 plus theta2 do the values of theta1 and theta will not be given individually the total value of phi will be given to us and the link lengths l1 l2 x and y coordinates will also be given so now what we have to do is we have to find out the angles so let us consider a triangle let me change the color let us take this triangle from this point to this point and let us extend it to up till here say this point is o this is b and this is o dash so now in this triangle we can see that this is the right angle part as we have taken a perpendicular we can write it as ob whole square is equal to oo dash square plus o dash b whole square we have simply used the pythagorean theorem pythagoras theorem in this triangle so now we will simply put the values of o o dash and o o b dash o dash b that is o o dash is l1 plus l2 cos theta2 whole square and o dash b is l2 sin theta2 whole square now we can see that o o dash is this point so l1 this part plus this part so this part is l2 cos theta2 which we have written over here now similarly for o dash b we need this part so this is this uh, this length which will be uh, given by l2 sin theta2 so we have simply put the values that we found out from this triangle and now we will open it open the brackets and we will get l1 square plus l2 square cos cos square theta2 plus 2 l1 l2 cos theta2 plus l2 square 
sin square theta 2. So now <clears throat> we can write OB as x square plus y square. How? Let us see. This is the OB coordinate. Let me take another color. This is the OB, OB length. So if I extend this perpendicularly over here, this length, this length is x as we know the coordinates are given to us and this length that is this yellow part is y if we take it from here so using this the again we will use a pythagoras theorem that is x square plus y square will be equal to ob square and that's what we have done here that is we have written ob square is equal to x square plus y square and which will be equal to l1 square plus l2 square plus 2 l1 l2 plus 2 l1 l2 sin cos theta 2 as you will see that these two will form a property and only l square will be left with us as sin square theta 2 plus cos square theta 2 is equal to 1 so from here we will find out the value of cos theta 2 which will come out to be x square plus y square minus l1 square minus l2 square upon 2 l1 l2 so this is the value of cos theta 2 that is cos theta 2 theta 2 can be found out by taking the cos over there that is cos inverse of x square plus y square minus l1 square minus l2 square upon 2 l1 l2 so here we have found out the value of theta 2 and we know that phi is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2 and phi value is given to us theta 2 we have found out from this equation so from this we can find out theta 1 which will come out to be theta 1 is equal to phi minus theta 2. So this is the inverse kinematics part in which we have found out the joint angle that is theta 1 and theta 2 and now we can place an object from one position to another using these angles. So this is all for this video. In this we discussed what is robotarm kinematics, then forward and direct kinematics, then inverse kinematics and then we took a problem that is we discussed how we will find out and solve questions on forward and inverse kinematics using trigonometry so now this is this is it for all this video now we will see you in the next one